Hello, my name is Joseph Zerman, and I'm the curator of contemporary art here at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art. Today, we're here to sit down with Hebrew Brantley and talk to him about his newest exhibition, Saints and Shepherds. I think with, with the work that I do, you know, obviously upon first approach, it feels youthful. For me, it's, it's, it's the opposite. I think that I might just be a little stunted in my growth in terms of, you know, uh, Peter Pan syndrome a, a little bit, but I think that there is a uh, earnestness, there's a power, there's an honesty to, you know, the faces of babes. They look young, but they ain't. There are two characters that um, are constantly sort of uh, making an appearance through the work, and that's uh, one is Flyboy and one is Lil Mama. And I kind of look at them uh, in a lot of ways like my Mickey and Minnie. I saw the power and the opportunity in using these characters in the world of high art, much like a Charles Schultz uses the peanuts, right? I can. I can use these characters as a conduit to say anything that I want to say, you know, and it, 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 there's a, a bit of a disconnect because now I'm not taking the sort of the brunt of the, the burden they are in a way. Um, so, you know, good, bad, happy, sad, you know, I can filter it out through them. Artists throughout history have always sort of been at the, the, the genesis of change, you know, the shift, like, but rarely do they get credit. And so to be able to be a contemporary artist where what I'm doing is a part of the culture currently, right now in the time I, I live in, as opposed to way after I'm gone, I think is really important and is a great opportunity. The idea behind the show and the title Saints and Shepherds um, sort of arrived due to the way everything's been going over the past couple of years. Um, I grew up, you know, a good old Catholic boy in the church every Sunday. And I think that a lot of the biblical stories make for really great stories. For me, it was looking at the sort of the rock stars, the, um, the political figures, the biblical figures of that time, right? And, and how they were, uh, their message was carried through in, a, in an age where there was no social media, in an age where you know, it was word of mouth in an age where um, it was mostly about lore, you know, and that's sort of what embellished the legend. And, you know, I think that the same thing happens today, just, you know, it's more contemporary. I had started to explore this idea of a American mythology that sort of repurposed and reappropriated you know, famous superheroes, gods, goddesses, mutants, etc., cetera, um, as people of color. There's optimism and there's a little cynicism in all the work that I do. And, um, you know, Saints and Shepherds sort of explores that. The saints um, were the rock stars. The saints are the ones that are remembered, you know, and, and the shepherds usually aren't um, within these tales and within these fables. But if the world has shown us anything in the past few years, it's it's the shepherds, it's the community, it's the people that have come together sort of to strengthen this world and to fight against, you know, the things that they, you know, the injustices and so forth. And so ultimately those, those saints are the ones that are typically remembered, less the shepherds, you know. Thank you for joining us today at this in-depth look at Hebrew Brantley's newest exhibition, Saints and Shepherds. For more information, visit our website, fwmoa.org.